Hello everyone, welcome to episode 19 of this awesome, amazing Osu Let's Play series. In the last episode, I showed you guys some stream maps and explained basically what streams are. And in this episode, I want to continue this theme of explaining different types of maps, and I'm going to show you guys different tech maps, try to define what exactly tech means. It's a very, I would say, ambiguous term in the community, so I'm going to try to show some sample maps and try to explain it as best I can. So yes, before we get started, I want to shout out that I do live stream every single day over at twitch.tv slash digital hypno. So if you want to hang out with me or watch me play this game live, all that good stuff, I would highly recommend stopping by, saying hello, and bonus points, if you tell me that you came from this Let's Play series, I will be very, very happy to see you there. So yes, without any further ado. So I'm going to present two different terms, basically. One is what's called conventional maps, and one is unconventional maps. And tech basically falls under the umbrella of unconventional, but first I want to define basically what conventional means. So basically, very simple rhythm, and uh, very closely follows the metronome of the song, I would say. So this map is one that I showed you guys in episode 16, or wait, 17? 17, I think, <laughs> 17, about jumps. And um, let's look at this in the editor. So just as an example. Okay, so one misconception that people have about tech maps is that it's just sliders. It's like, if there's slider aim, okay, like this slider, for example, oh, wavy slider must be a tech map. It's not necessarily the case, but I'll get more into that later on. So yes, this map, for example, is, wait, let, me, let me fix my volume, <laughs> forgot to do that, okay. <laughs> Pretty much just jumps very very simple rhythm clean mapping style this map is really good <laughs> if you if you can't tell i think this map is very nice but yes this is probably the perfect example of a very conventional map so i and, and typically those are very aim based but even some stream maps as long as the rhythm is relatively simple um, i think that is usually what conventional means and also if the patterns are pretty structured or symmetrical or like comfortable, like intended to be very comfortable. I think that is also a sign that is a conventional type of map. Okay, so let's head over to the actual song list, not the editor song list. So I have six maps that I have prepared for this episode, six different examples of tech maps. Hopefully I can get through all of them, but this is the first example map. Oh, wait, there's two of them. Whereas this is actually a diluted version, and then this is the ranked version. So I had this map before I got ranked, and you can see the difficulty name changed. So this one, yeah, it's not submitted. Then this one is ranked, has a leaderboard, but yes, anyway, let's get started. Oh no, my tablet. Oh man, every time. Randomly, like my tablet just disconnects. But okay, so I will define now. So technical maps. I've thought about this a lot, and I think that like characteristics of tech map are like okay, so there's two main things that tech maps challenge. And that is slider aim and rhythm sense. So if Slider aim is a main focus of the map, and also it has somewhat compl uh, complex rhythm. I think those are the two key characteristics of being able to call a map a technical, yeah, tech slash technical map. So you'll, I'll, I'll try to point out different nuances in each of the maps that I've selected, but you can see like these little doubles, for example, and also the sliders that sometimes go in like different directions compared to like the next note. Uh, and okay, so also, hmm. so tech overall is a very broad category, and I think so. Th there's different terms that I think people use, like, or at least I, I use them. So I would group tech maps into like light tech and then like like hard tech. I don't, I don't really say hard tech, but I do say light tech sometimes, where it's like just barely off the edge of being conventional. Uh, usually lower star tech maps tend to be like that as well. Um, also, okay, so okay, this is okay. I, I, this is this is where my my brain just starts going random places and mentioning random things. But okay, so the star rating system this game gets very inaccurate the higher you go in difficulty. Okay, yeah, okay this is exactly what I mean by slider aim. Plus, like the little random doubles, not random, but um, more complex rhythm, more intricate rhythm, things like that. But star rating at high calibers of difficulty tend to get very complex. 
And one of the reasons for that is because the algorithm is very difficult, or it is very, it's very difficult for the algorithm to calculate how hard sliders are to aim. Um, I think there have been some improvements, but it used to be the case that the ring or the star rating system pretty much could not read sliders past the slider head. And I'll, I'll link a sample video of what I'm talking about. But basically, the star rating system would think that sliders were just the start circle, and it wouldn't really be able to judge the difficulty of following the slider. And that led to really complex slider maps being very understarred and underweighted in the ranking system. I think it's sort of starting to improve after all these years, but yeah, still definitely one of the main things that I think is underrepresented in the ranking system. But yes, hopefully. Oh, and, and also I don't want to mention actually, so, so I mentioned there are two key components I would say to a map being technical, is slider aim and rhythm sense. And it, uh, also I, I should clarify that I think that's only, like, I've never really consulted other players on that definition. Um, I think it's pretty accurate. I'm, pro I'm sure most players would agree, but Yes, anyway, if a map, okay, so if a map is only slider aim, but not really uh, any complex rhythm sense, I would probably just call it conventional. Although that usually is very uncommon, I feel like. I can't really think of an example of a map that would be like that. But if the rhythm is very simple and there's still an emphasis on slider aim, I'm not sure if I would actually call that tech. Um, but s some people might. Oh, I slider broke. Uh, but. Yes, so if the rhythm is... Okay, so the, the other side of the spectrum is if there's really no slider aim, but there's very complex rhythm. And in those cases, I probably wouldn't call it tech. I would just call it, uh, I don't know, rhythm... Not rhythm dense. Uh, I don't actually know what I would call it. It's like a rhythm-based, rhythm-focused, something like that. <laughs> if you're in involved in the tournament community, you would call it Nomad 6 because... <laughs> that is basically uh, so in, in the tournament map pools, which is the list of maps that are given for a tournament match. Um, they're they're listed in order, and um, I, I don't know. I'll, I'll definitely get more into this in a future episode. But one of the slots basically in the map pool is usually for stuff that's very focused on rhythm, but not necessarily slider aim. That's usually the sixth slot in the no mod section of the map pool. But um, yes, if you ever hear something like no mod six or something like that, that is that's what that means. Um, or Nomad 1, Nomad 2. I'll, I'll get into that stuff in future episodes, for sure. But, yes, next um, next map that I have prepared for you guys. Function Phantom. Absolute banger. I showed you guys some other Function Phantom maps in a previous episode. But, this is a very good example of, uh, of tech as well. So, this is more... Okay, I think doubles usually are characteristic of um, tech maps, doubles, and uh, really, I think, odd numbered bursts. So that yeah, doubles or quads, things like that. And usually, I think electronic maps, or electronic songs, typically lend themselves very easily to uh, tech maps. Yeah, but OK, yeah, this is this is exactly what I'm what I was sort of talking about, doubles and Different, okay, slider velocities as well. Okay, so slider velocity. Okay, that, that is not, not something I've mentioned before. So slider velocity is basically how fast the slider is, pretty much. Um, I mentioned in the first episode that sliders in this game, the speed is fixed. So it's not about moving your cursor through the entire slider necessarily. Like, you don't determine the speed. You can't just, like, move your cursor as fast as you want through a slider. You have to keep the speed of your cursor controlled or like following what the map sets this slider speed to like these slow sliders for example i can't just like you know let go right or i, I can't just like go as fast as i want so yes i think varying slider velocity is another characteristic although it's not necessarily a characteristic but it's a very common trait that tech maps have i would say but it's, it's not necessarily always the case but this is this map is a pretty good example of that um i think also so i i think i've probably mentioned this oh, oh. Uh, okay i could not read that 
I've probably mentioned this in a previous episode, but being able to start patterns with either finger is, I think, especially helpful in these weird rhythm tech maps like this. Because um, you end up having, like, just, just really awkward rhythms that you are sometimes forced to start patterns with your other finger, or even end patterns with, like, a finger that you're not used to. Like, on conventional maps, usually, if there's a burst, you're always... Okay, so let's say you single tap, right? Whenever there's a triple, you you end the pattern on the same finger you started with. The same for, like, five-note bursts or streams for the most part. And then, obviously, single taps or jumps or whatever, you can just single tap everything. So, for the most part, it's pretty easy to just start everything with the same finger. Or, and you also end up ending all patterns with the same finger as well. But on more awkward rhythm patterns, maps like these, that's not really the case. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, not submit this A rank yet. In, in, in case you guys don't know, I, I I do not have any A ranks on my profile. I just deliberately avoid submitting them as you just saw a demonstration of that. But um, okay, map number three. This map, oh, I have to update it. Okay, so something changed. <laughs> the circle count changed or something. Okay, very high quality map. This map is not ranked, but it's very, very nice. I like this map a lot. So I think this map is a good show of, um, it's, I would probably consider it light tech because the rhythm is not super complex, but there's there's some rhythm com rhythm complexity and there's an emphasis on slider aim as well. But yes, I think, and this sort of ties into the whole discussion of like, should like, I've had a couple people ask me before, like, if I fully alternate, is there any reason to learn how to single tap? And I would say not necessarily. I, f I feel like I've mentioned this in a previous episode, but I I'm just going to say it again. If you fully, like, if you fully single tap, there might be some patterns that you run into problems on. But if you fully alternate very comfortably, then there's probably, like, you should be fine on pretty much any pattern that you come across. Oh yes, also, okay, so yeah, these like little cider aim bits, it's like these triangles of ciders. And I think one third and one six rhythms are pretty characteristic of tech maps as well. This map's definitely lighter tech, I would say. There's some one third, one six rhythms. Okay, also, just because there's like one, like one third or one six rhythm or like burst doesn't necessarily make a map tech. But it, it does bring it closer to that whole. Oh, oh, oh. Um, <laughs> it I think having one six patterns does bring a map closer to that threshold of rhythm complexity that is involved in tech maps. Nice map. Okay, this this one's not ranked, so uh, I can finish the score just fine, even though I missed. Okay. Uh, three more maps. Okay, okay. Next. Uh, is it, this one, I think, is the biggest example of light tech that is in... Uh, uh, that, that I'm going to show this episode, probably. But... Yeah, and especially being a lower star rating, usually if there's, like, a light tech map and then there's, like, higher difficulties in the map set as well, then probably those higher difficulties are, like, more technical, I guess. Yeah, this is very, I think, introductory tech to those of you who are like, I guess, n newer to the game. I, I, I do try to show off more like, I guess, average starting maps, like four, maybe five stars for the most part. Um, just, I guess, for that reason, just to appeal to a wider audience, so to speak. But yes, I, I would say. This is a good starter light tech map. There's some slider velocity changes in this map as well. And I think that the pauses in rhythm in this song, especially with like the circles, there's sometimes like repeated circles and then there's just like a little pause. Uh, they're, they're, they happen throughout the map. I'm. <laughs> trying to... I don't know when the next one is though, but I think you guys sort of know what I'm talking about. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think little, it's like little rhythm quirks. I'm not exactly sure how to describe it, but. Yes. And also, okay, I would say, as, okay, especially for finding tech maps, I would say like going to Mapper's profiles. So I, I showed this off in a previous episode as well, but going to Mapper's profiles who have made a tech map that you like is probably a really good starting point for finding more. Because, actually, hmm, I'm trying to think, is it more common for their, like, are there more unconventional tech maps out there, or are there more conventional maps? They're probably more conventional maps, I would say. Maybe. It, it's actually hard to tell, but um, regardless, yeah, I think no matter what kind of map you're looking for, if you are struggling to find a certain kind of map, then definitely going to the mapper's user page and going to the beat map section of their profile is a very, very good starting point. And I showed that off in a previous episode as well. Yeah, all the different videos that I'm mentioning throughout this episode, I will have them all linked in the description as usual. Um, and the maps that I play, of course, as usual. Everything <laughs> is linked in the description. So the skin, um, the key overlay, all that stuff. So. A solid map. This map is, is really high quality, I would say. Good starter light tech map. All right, two more maps. This one, very. This one is super popular, especially. It has, I think, probably one of the most popular maps of the year, 2021. Oh god, it's 2021. If you guys are watching this, like, way in the future, um, hey guys, the year is 2021, and Nathan's DJ Mag map is just, it's just the hottest stuff right now. <laughs> Actually, should I play this difficulty or the higher one? Oh, what if I do the higher one? Okay, okay. Let's show you guys some. Crazy, crazy tech. Actually, the, okay, the top difficulty of this map set is the actual crazy tech. Yeah, hopefully you guys are sort of starting to see the picture when it comes to what exactly um, constitutes a tech map. Because yeah, it's somewhat ambiguous throughout the community, I would say. But just remember, it's slider aim and rhythm sense both. And it's not necessarily a um, like the in the definition of tech, but usually you'll find slider velocity changes as well. And I think that that's mostly it, I would say. And it, there's also, okay, so <laughs> the entire map doesn't need to be tech either. <gasps> what did I miss? Oh no. Okay, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just play through the map. Oh, oh, okay, I forgot that was there. Okay, that is called the slider stream. Okay, yeah, these are called slider streams. Okay, cool. I, I did not even know these were in the map, but yes. Okay, slider stream is probably another thing you'll find in tech maps. So slider stream should be pretty self-explanatory. It's a stream where the instead of circles, it's uh, really short sliders. So I think they would be called one eight sliders because it's like okay, so one four rhythm is like what a stream is, right? And then the sliders are so fast that they're like within half the rhythm, basically. So 1.8 slider, 1.8 speed. I, I think so. Pretty sure you call them 1.8. Uh, another characteristic of tech maps, yeah, slider streams. And I, I think knowing what goes into a tech map will help you, like if you're not trying to make your map technical, like if you're creating your own map, it can help you know like what types of patterns to avoid. This map, okay, especially the top difficulty. I'm, I'm sure many of you probably already know this map, but top difficulty of this map goes so hard. Yeah, you'll also sometimes find, especially in more modern tech maps, really crazy, like unique slider shapes in tech maps as well. Um, okay, so okay, another thing I want to mention, and this is more about slider aim, is Okay, so I mentioned this in OCPHD as well, which if you really want to learn more about like the nitty gritty of what I have to say about slider aim and rhythm sense, or actually any skill in the game, definitely recommend checking out that video as usual. <laughs> Hopefully if you're on this episode, then you've seen that video by now, but yes, a bit, a tidbit about slider aim is that you mostly want to focus on hitting the slider head, um, which is like the slider start circle, basically like the first slide, the first part that you actually have to click on of the slider. 
because that part of the slider is like it requires the most like precise aim and like after you hit that part the rest of the slider is usually a lot easier like you, you can see for these like repeat sliders for example i'm sort of just leaving my cursor still i have to click the start circle i think that's the most important part but i don't actually need to follow many of these sliders because as long as my cursor is in the range of the slider like you know the little ball that shows up as long as my cursor is in that range then i will be just fine and actually also lots of skins the slider ball range sh is displayed as smaller than it really is like i could like okay so what it looks like the slider ball range is in the skin i could actually move my cursor even further away from that uh, not by too much actually yeah the slider ball range in this skin is pretty small compared to like what it actually is like the actual hitbox oh my god this map is crazy you just like get these crazy streams cut streams it's like cut streams are basically like one continuous stream where the spacing cuts okay like grouped in fours or something like that uh these like oh yeah yeah okay that's an example of a cut stream for example i'm not sure what you would call those like wiggle streams i think it's just like wiggle streams or like zigzag okay actually <laughs> i'm not exactly sure crazy okay this map is insane <laughs> Really high quality though, very solid map. But yes, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna pause. Pause now. Quit out since I missed early in the run. But yes, very high quality map. Uh, okay, one more map I want to show you guys. But okay, this is also a classic. Okay, this one I'll play with hidden. Um, oh, actually, okay, yeah, okay. Um, a, a note about hidden and tech maps. The people actually find that like reducing the clutter. Okay, so especially for aiming to sliders. The reduced clutter, like not having the approach circles there, is actually really helpful for some people. So, especially for aiming sliders, you're... Okay, try not to get baited by the entire slider. It's, I think the best way to put it is like, there's a difference between aiming to a slider and aiming to the start of the slider. Because if you just like see the entire slider and just like aim towards it, it's a lot more likely that you might end up tapping like in the middle of the slider or something. like like the slider body rather than the start of the circle which is where you're actually supposed to click so and you can tell my skin actually uh okay so i didn't make the skin first of all i got it from so it was popularized by a player named cookie z <laughs> yeah i don't know why i said it that way i think you all probably know who he is but um yes, i'm pretty sure it was made by solus um largely but um anyway yes you can see the start circle of the sliders is actually different than the what the circles look like so the sliders have more of like a glow um on this on this circle and then the circles are more like there's like a transparent ring in the middle <laughs> it's kind of hard to describe i think if you pause the video or like i don't know go back through some other episodes you might <laughs> where the, where the maps are less chaotic you might be able to, to see what i'm talking about but yeah i think Having a sort of glow on the start circle of the slider can help with aiming to it. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, pizza delivery. Thank you. <laughs> oh yo, what was I talking about? My sister just ordered pizza. Let's go. Thank you. Easter egg. Those of you who make it to the end of the video. <laughs> but it's aiming to the... Uh, um, the, the star circle of, of sliders is, I think, really important. So, yes, the gist of what I was trying to say is don't get baited by the um, slider body, especially on really complex sliders. And that is something that I went in more detail in on in Uzi PhD. So, um, yes, that is just about going to do it. I think, okay, oh, oh, actually, how long have I been recording? 24 minutes. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I'm going to wrap this up. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. Okay, I, I made it through every map uh, within the 25 minutes, so that is good. But yes, if you guys are watching this in the future, be sure to check out my future videos. Check out my channel. Um, yes, watch my future videos. I upload these every single day. And like I mentioned, I live stream on Twitch every single day as well. And apparently, I'm going to have some pizza delivery that my sister got. So that's super awesome and awesome. Thank you, sister. <laughs> but yes, I'll see you guys next time.